This is the knee slice. I enter the guard of my opponent willingly with the intention to pass with pressure or speed and it's used from white belt to black belt depending of the variation. As I enter the guard, I need to think about two things. First, my opponent will use his left foot as a reverse de la riva hook. I need to pop it out and come back with my shin on his thigh on a sitting position. Second detail, I need to point my right elbow to the outside as he can secure a lasso and sweep me effortlessly. My right hand controls his hips and my elbow prevents the lasso guard. My right knee is already in position and I'm stretching his groin while putting pressure on both sides. Left hand grabs the collar and I will punch my underhook followed by my cross face. I join my hands together and pass with full force. Watch how my right hand is acting as a sensor for the direction of his hips. When I feel the perfect timing, it slides low on the ground to get a perfect underhook. My left shoulder is putting pressure on his face which will prevent him to turn into me. And notice how my knee does not slice forward, it slices backward to keep controlling the hips for the whole duration of the pass. Once the side control is stabilized, I will go higher for my attacks. Now let's add more pressure. I'm stretching his ground with my weight on both of his legs. I grab the lapel with my hand to twist him towards me. And once his head is closer to me, I will use my forehead on his throat to pass. He will just want to give up the pass to release the pain. As you saw, knee slice can be a pressure pass, but it can also be done in an extremely quick motion to create scrambles or to surprise your opponent who expects something else. When my opponent will frame on me to block the pass or avoid the cross face, I need to use another variation where I will grab the triceps or a sleeve grip and I will use it to lift his back off the ground to get an easier pass. When I go for this knee slice with the sleeve, I need to switch direction as I pass. I move dynamically to the left, then roll him on the right. I really need to take advantage of his framing as he's giving me his arm. When I pass, he will be worried about me taking the back, but as I kept his sleeve during the whole pass, I go for the armbar. I'm going to enter the guard and control his hips with my right hand. I'm going to pop the hook out and pin the leg on the side. Now we will punch my underhook, get the sleeve grip and pass with pressure. Who control the direction of the head, control the direction of the body. My champion partner and professor at Sister Costa Belgium, Alan Siku, destroyed my neck so many times with this variation of crossface using his forearm on my chin. As you cannot turn into me, you just give the pass. I will create a pocket for a cross grip and drop my elbow on the face. Then I will pull on the sleeve to pull myself inside control. Another option to create even more pressure is to take the opposite lapel with my right hand and to feed it to my left hand. It creates a super cross face, which is almost unbearable and gives you a super control and offers many attack. Going for example for a cross choke is a good strategy to pass the guard as your opponent is focused on not getting choked. But don't get me wrong, it's not because you achieved the pass that you should let go the choke. I can finish the cross choke with the neon belly I can get the cross choke with the lapel and often your opponent will defend the cross choke turning into you and you will choke them with the infamous Bravo choke using their defense as your attack. I love to combine the top spin with the rapidity of a quick knee slice. I don't even try to pass the guard. I just want my opponent to reach for an underhook. I'm going to step over his head and switch side to go on his back. Get the seat belt, slide my shin to his shoulder and sit on my butt to be in a perfect back take position, ready to choke him with a bow and arrow. Quick knee slice, step over his head, back step, get the seat belt, get my two hooks and bow and arrow. <laughs>